Anthony Joshua, who is best known as the superstar British heavyweight boxer, has managed to snag some pretty luxurious real estate, but not for himself. In fact, Joshua's North London flat features two bedrooms and one bathroom, claiming that simplicity is the key. However, the world heavyweight champion had spent some time staying at the 20k a week villa in St. John's Wood, Northwest London. The mansion boasted a wine cellar, a home cinema, and seven bedrooms. Joshua is known for famously dishing out property for others, including a $175,000 property for his mum, which she lived in with her, and a $500,000 penthouse for his ex-girlfriend. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a house tour that you do not want to miss. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses, and even though we've done house tours of our own, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anybody. Anthony Joshua has had quite the lucrative career, killing it in professional boxing, garnering a net worth of $80 million, and is earning at least $50 to $60 million a year. As you'll figure out in this house tour, Joshua isn't in it for the glamour and glory, as he declined more than $60,000 to turn professional, later explaining, turning down that $60,000 was easy. I didn't take up the sport for money. I want to win medals. However, Joshua has had some pretty big paydays professionally. In April 2017, he defeated Vladimir Klitschko and earned $17 million from the fight. He then earned $12.5 million fighting Carlos Takam. In his fight against Andy Ruiz Jr., Anthony made $25 million from the fight and was followed up by a $60 million payday for the rematch. Between June 2017 and June 2018, Anthony Joshua earned earned $42 million from purses and endorsements. Much of that was the $20 million he earned fighting Alexir Povakin. Between June 2018 and June 2019, Anthony earned a staggering $54 million, the majority of which came from his fight against Ruiz. That was enough to make him one of the highest paid athletes in the entire world. So when you're bringing in the kind of cash that Joshua has brought in the past few years, it only makes sense that the real estate portfolio would be pretty dope. But this actually isn't the case for Joshua as he opts to live a simple fight and spending his money on his loved ones. Living with his mother for so long, Joshua dished out $175,000 and a Rolls Royce for her and a $500,000 penthouse for his ex-girlfriend. We will take a look at his most recent home and a luxurious mansion which he had a rental training for his famous Wembley Stadium fight against Vladimir Klitschko. What's going on guys, it's Clyde Smith and today we're bringing you another house tour right here on Famous Entertainment. Now I did notice about 95% of you watching aren't subscribed, so please be sure to hit that subscribe button because we post a new video daily. If you like these videos, ring that bell for for notifications, follow me on the gram, and as per usual, let me know whose house tour is next in those comments down below. All right, let's get into this video. Not much is known about where exactly Joshua's mother's home is, where he also spent some time. But we do know that he bought her a two-bed ex-council flat in Golders Green for 175,000 pounds, where he spent some of his teenage years along with a Rolls Royce. In addition, he also bought a $500,000 penthouse in Finchley, North London, for his ex-girlfriend Nicole Osborne and her son, despite them splitting apart. Ahead of his Wembley mega fight with Vladimir Klitschko, Joshua had rented a luxurious mansion for $20,000 a week, a villa in St. John's Wood, North West London, and after taking a peek inside, I mean, you couldn't really blame him. The mansion boasted a number of luxe features, including a wine cellar, a home cinema, and a whopping seven bedrooms. In addition, the home also featured a beautiful swimming pool and massive living rooms. To rent the property for once a month, you would have to fork out a whopping $86,000, and that's $1.2 million a year, which isn't too much of a dent considering what Joshua's been earning. The lavish home featured stunning exterior views, which included an all-white estate, floor-to-ceiling windows on the main floor, floor with access to the lavish backyard and a second story grand balcony overlooking the grounds. The picture perfect exterior came complete with rolling lawns, manicured grounds and a luxurious backyard, but we'll talk about that backyard in just a minute. Upon entry, guests lucky enough to visit were greeted to a grand entry with a profusion of lounging spaces which were perfect for entertaining. The first lounging space featured colossal sofas which extended the length of the room and was decked out with a marble coffee table, enormous flat screen television, cozy fireplace and elegantly framed art. Artwork. While the living room featured a profusion of lavish furnishings, custom fixtures, and fittings, elegant chandelier, and yet another dazzling fireplace. In addition, the living room came complete with massive custom glass cabinetry, an all-glass coffee table, and oversized windows that give tons of natural light. While preparing for the fight, you knew that Joshua would need a heavyweight champion-worthy kitchen, and you'll be happy to know that the kitchen featured stainless steel appliances, marble countertops, and a breakfast island 
perfectly centered in the room. In addition, the kitchen came complete with a butler's pantry the size of a boxing ring. After those long days of training, Joshua's master suite featured a wealth of lavish furnishings, custom fixtures, lustrous fireplace, and a massive flat screen television soaring above. In addition, Joshua's master bedroom featured a large glass sliding door with access to a balcony overlooking the grounds and a walk-in closet that could easily pose as yet another bedroom. Joshua's master bathroom featured dual sinks, a large soaking tub that boasts terrific views, and a large standing shower perfect for relaxation. When renting this lavish mansion, Joshua clearly meant business as his home featured his own personal gym that puts regular gyms to shame and came complete with change rooms and a steam room. Through large glass doors, the property featured a massive indoor pool decked out with lavish lounging sofas, arched pillars, and jacuzzis perfect for training or relaxation. So Anthony, am I getting an invite to this pool party? Now, as beautiful as the interior of the home is, the backyard featured a number of luxe features, including an outdoor barbecue area, entertainment system, and fire pit surrounded by sleek furnishings. Unfortunately, we do not have pictures of the wine cellar, but we're willing to bet that he put it to good use after his victory at Wembley Stadium. I mean, that party must have been off the hook. Now, as previously mentioned, Joshua does live a rather simple life by choice, and that's exactly what his current London flat is, as the home features a modest two bedrooms, one bathroom, kitchen, and what he describes as vintage seating. The living room is connected to the kitchen and can be described as quite modest. The living room and kitchen combo features a small wooden table for those pre- and post-game meals, apartment-sized kitchen counter, and both a petite electric stove and fridge. In the living room portion, Joshua's dig features a television and a profusion of ripped vintage seats. Joshua claims that he's had these seats for about seven years, but claims that if it ain't broke, don't fix it. In addition, the living room features a recovery chair, which he uses for his physio and recovery. Joshua's master bedroom features an elevated mattress, which can be best described as a big single bed, a small window, and a cross he keeps beside his bed, which was from his mom. Joshua's communal bathroom features a toilet, shower, and a window he props open to make sure everything is in order. Joshua's home also features a double room with double beds, nightstand, and a window with a lovely view. A lot of people, including yourself, may be asking, why doesn't Joshua move? And like a boss, he claims it's because the home works and it's the perfect place for what he's trying to achieve. Salute to that guy for real. All right, so I think I'll bring this house tour to an end right here. We got to take a quick look at Anthony Joshua's home and that new dig he picked up in London. After seeing that fancy little abode he snagged, what did you think? Was it everything that you'd expect out of Joshua? I mean, personally, I'm a huge fan of that first dig, naturally, but I mean, you have to respect the guy who chooses to live the simple life. Out of all of Joshua's features, which were your fave? You guys can even go ahead and let me know in the comment section down below. My name is Clyde Smith, and I'll see you guys in the next video.